Welcome to the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open from Lake Dardanelle in Russellville, Arkansas. One of the premier events in the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. After a whole week of spring-like conditions and the fish in all stages of the spawn, Lake Dardanelle was hit with heavy rains. But this is one of the favorite stops on the Cabela's Collegiate Series, and anglers weren't about to shut it down over a bit of weather. You know, this lake, I think, is one of my favorite lakes that we come to all year. It's just a bass fisherman's paradise. Uh, you got wood, you got rock, you got bridges. So many things you can do, and right now at the water temperature at 62 degrees, can't ask for better fishing, uh, spring fishing than this. Love the place. It doesn't get any better, I don't think. It's a fun lake to fish, man. It's pretty diverse. Um, there's lots of different ways to catch them. You can fish shallow, fish deep. It's pretty much a shallow water fisherman's paradise, I'd say. There's plenty of grass, plenty of wood. If you want to flip, this place is good. While prizes are being awarded this weekend, this tournament is all about pride and points. The race for the Cabela's School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia is in full swing. And coming into this event, Bryan College is on top of the pack by a slim margin. Our, our college has never been ranked number one in anything. And it, it's a, just a small Christian college in, in the foothills of a uh, of, of Dayton, Tennessee, and it, it's a huge thing for our school, and it, it's a big thing for us. And you know, we tried really hard this year to, to get to this point. Our lowest finish so far is an eighth place finish. Um, we've got a top ten in every tournament, so it's been a record year, really. And uh, so it's, it's, it's been awesome. Hopefully, we can keep the, the foot on the pedal and finish it. Heading to launch at Dardanelle State Park, we are just about to get stop number two in the 2017 Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series underway. Oh man, you get in this, in this college fishing stuff, there's some really good fishermen in this and uh, we're just gonna go out there and do what we can do, control what we can control and let the rest work itself out. Such a game plan start now. Uh, we're gonna go shallow and flip and throw a swim jig and see if we can't catch a couple big ones. We've got 51 schools on hand this weekend. This is a team format event with two boats per team. Each boat is looking for their heaviest three fish limit. The cumulative total will determine the winner. And in a different spin on tournament fishing, unlike most events, on the water communication between teams is allowed. Getting right into tournament coverage, we'll start things off with Jake Lee and Jacob Fouts representing Bryan College. Uh, we're just throwing a swim jig around, swim jig and spinner bait around anything in the water. These fish are up here spawning and we're just trying to get them to react. Up against some of the strongest teams in the country, Bryan College, the little school from Dayton, Tennessee, is sitting in a pretty prestigious position. We're out of Dayton, Tennessee. It's a little bit east of Chattanooga and uh, we're at Bryan College. And right now, man, we're leading school of the year. And for us to just be in our third year, man, that's kind of a, not kind of, that's a big deal to us. And uh, we'd like to be able to hang on to it and, and uh, take it home at the end of the year. Um, and there's some great schools behind us, uh, North Alabama being one of them, and one of the last ones of the year is on Pickwick. And North Alabama's tough to guard there, so we're trying to get as big of a lead as we can going into that one. That way if we stumble a little bit, hopefully they can't pass us. Moving on from Lee and Fouts, we'll check in on the team of Cody Salzman and Kenneth Prince. They're on the move and anxious. We gotta get this done. What? We gotta get this done. We got it. I'm not worried. You just gotta be patient. Because remember, it's only 8.30, Cody. We haven't been on the water at 8.30 all week. Yeah. You know, we got, we got one spot that uh, is really holding up. It seemed to hold up. Uh, a couple days ago and we've been patterning them like that all across the lake. It doesn't really matter where we go as long as we can find things like that. Uh, we've been catching three to five pounders pretty consistently. Uh, not numbers, but uh, pretty much every time we set the hook, it's been a, been a decent fish. So we're looking forward to this morning. Right, because we're not concerned about going out there and catching 30 fish. We want six fish and we want six good ones. And that's what we've done all week. And that's what we're, that's what we're focusing on here. Flip them. Well, it's one. Not, not uh, you'll keep, not a giant, but it's icebreaker. It should, should bump easily. 
Yeah, he's got an extra half inch. It's not much, but that's that's what we needed. We that's need what we need. You got one in the boat. Let me plug in this live well. You got one in the boat. And even if even if he comes in with a couple and they're not huge, we end up. Uh, we're gonna catch. We'll catch. You know, I, I can make it up with my three whenever it does happen. With one in the box, Cody sets the Big hook one. on fish number Good two. One. Solid, solid. Keep them off. Got him. In the boat. He'll catch. Not huge. Cut. It's two. Now, well, I'll take the right side of the line. Well, I guess. Hey, we got a net two. There you go. <laughs> fish numero dos. 